You guys take this test. You'll have an opportunity. You go in. Right? Same box. We always put them in. So um, here I'm given a triangle, or I'm sorry, I'm not given a triangle yet, but I'm given two side lengths and an opposing angle. When I'm given two side lengths and an opposing angle, I know I can use my law of sines. So the first thing we're going to do is let's draw a little sketch of what this little triangle is going to look like. So I'll call this angle C, which is 145 degrees. This will be side length C which is equal to 14. I'll call this B, and this little b is equal to a length of four. And I'll call this big A, and little a, we do not know. So, excuse me. So again, like I said, whenever I'm given two side lengths, and I have an opposing angle, I can use the law of sines. Remember the law of sines states that the length of a side and the sine of that angle is proportionally equal to another side length of the triangle and the sine of their angle over C sine of C. So that's what the law of sine states. Now, what I want to do for this problem is I know I don't know either A, so I'm not going to want to use that first amount of proportion. The first thing I'm going to want to do is figure out B. That's my missing length because I already have the, I already have the length. I'd like to go and find out what the angle is. So I'm going to set up a proportion with the C's and the B's. I don't know any information for A or sine of A, right? So I'm just going to use this information to solve for sine of B. So what I have is B, which is 4, over sine of B, which is equal to um, 14 over sine of 145. So now, when we're given in this point, we need to find sine of B. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cross multiply. So therefore I end up with 14 sine of B equals um, 4 times sine of 145. And before I figure all that out, I'll divide by 14. So I have sine of B equals, let's figure this out here. So I have 4 times sine of 145, and parentheses, divide that by 14, equals 0.1638. Right? Anybody? No? Do you follow me? So sine is going to equal um, 0.1638. And I'm just going to round this, but I'm going to leave this in my calculator, because I don't really want you guys to be approximating. I'd like you to keep this exact answer in your calculator. So, but to show you an example here, just on the board, ladies and gentlemen, it does not say the angle equals 0.1638. It says the sine of the angle equals 0.168. So to find the actual angle, I need to say B equals the inverse sine of 0.1638. And you know, whatever the exact answer is for that. Does that make sense? You're not finding B does not equal 0.168, the sine of B. So I need to undo the sine. So I need to use the inverse operation of sine, which is inverse sine. So all I'll do is I'll leave my answer here. I'm going to say inverse sine of second answer, which is this is exact answer, provides me with 9.43 when I round it. So B is equal to 9.43 degrees. Oh, I wrote it in there. That was my mistake. Lucky you guys. So I wasn't supposed to. So here, so you guys lucked out. Um, so now you guys figure this out. So now the next thing you guys need to remember is all the angles in a triangle equals 180, right? Good old geometry. Man, I miss that stuff, right? So we know A, we don't know what A is, plus B is 9.43, plus C is 145 equals 180, right? So all we do is we subtract these from 180. So I have A equals 
180 minus 9.43 minus 145. And when I do that, I get 180 minus 9.43 minus 145, 25.57. A equals 25.57. And I'm running out of room. I hope I have some room over here. So now that I know what A is, I can now go back and use my same proportions for law signs and say, um, I don't know the sine length of A over sine of 25.57 is equal to, again, I'll use this ratio. So I'll say A over sine of 25.57 is equal to the ratio, all you see again, sine of 145. When I cross multiply here, I'm going to get A equals um, 14 times sine of 25.57 divided by sine of 145. How did I get that? I just did this math with this. I just, for time purposes, I'm going to move forward. So to finalize my answer, I have 14 times sine of 25.57 and then divide that by sine of 145 and I'm equal to 10.53. So A equals 10.53. And therefore now I find all the missing lengths and angles of my triangle. Any questions about this? No? Does it make sense? Okay. Just fill it in, guys, and just use those ratios um, that you need. And the big thing is, remember to find that angle. All right, Dan, what was your question?